Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS student community, and this video is on how to solve convergence issues when doing large deflections of uh, elastomers or rubber type materials. And in this case, I've got uh, five recommendations to solve those convergence problems. To use hyperelastic material model, to turn on the mixed UP element formulation, to turn on uniform reduced integration on the elements, to use four or more elements through the thickness of the part and to take many sub-steps, and uh, to study what happens uh, as we go through. I've got four models that have the uh, different um, problems illustrated. The first uh, part has just a linear elastic material so the only things done in this model is to put uh, more than four elements through the thickness of the part and to do the initial sub-steps of 100. So in the analysis settings step controls, the uh, automatic auto time stepping is on and then the initial and minimum sub-steps are set to 100. And that's the first thing that happens when you try to um, deflect this model. Let's just take a moment to uh, look at what this model is. It's, um, it's a rubber bellows with a thick hub and a thick base, which is fixed. The hub is moving down the axis, and these are thin-walled uh, bellows. <clears throat> and the first attempt was to solid mesh that, and it failed to come down and uh, so the suggestion was to go from 3D solids to axisymmetric model, and that is to take a radial slice when the model is aligned where the axis of rotation is the y-axis. And so we can see that here in this model is the y-axis is over here, uh, just off the screen. But if you revolve this surface around that axis, you'll recreate that solid model and the bottom is fixed and the top has a displacement coming down. So uh, when it was solving, uh, it stopped with an error before it got to its full and the error was uh, the element has become highly distorted. Uh, they suggest uh, corrective action such as incrementing the load more slowly. So that's what we did with the uh, auto time stepping and the 100 steps. So that's been done. And the improvement in the mesh, we've got a beautiful mesh. So uh, what we need is material and element things that are in our list. And uh, we haven't done that yet. So we've got a material that is just linear, stat linear elastic. And here's a um, very familiar looking linear elastic material with a Young's modulus and a Poisson ratio. And the Poisson ratio is close to 0.5, which is the point when it's completely incompressible. And that's a characteristic of rubbers. And that is why uh, there is these <coughs> other materials called um, hyperelastic materials. And here is one from the, the Granta uh, engineering data source that um, uses the Mooney Rivlin 2 parameter hyperelastic material model, and so there's three numbers, uh, four, uh, three numbers, material constants C10, C01, and D1 are required in order to um, define this uh, hyperelastic material, and so you'll find the full list of possible material models here and even the um, ability to take hyperelastic test data and fit the parameters needed for one of these models using the data that was acquired. Uh, but we have the data, we have the material constants already, and so the only change from here to here was to uh, change the model so that uh, part two now has silicon rubber instead of a linear elastic. So this is the Mooney Rivlin model. Uh, unfortunately, it uh, failed to converge, and um, probably a similar error message if we were to look at the um, 
solver output at the end. Yep, highly distorted. So this is where the key ops are coming in and uh, what is uh, in the PowerPoint again is the um, two key ops mixed UP element formulation by setting key ops six equals one. And uh, where do you know to do that? Um, it's for each element type. So uh, 3D solids might have an element uh, of a solid 185. Axisymmetric models had a plane 182 or 181. Um, and in the ANSYS help, you can go and find, say, for a solid 185, Keop 6 sets it for mixed formulation, and you can read all about that in the uh, in the online help if you want to understand what it does for you. But what it does is help things converge. Uh, so I um, have a model where we did that, and uh, that's this model C. And just to show you uh, what that looks like, here it is. And to get that done is simply to click on the part and then uh, insert a command object under that part, which pops up uh, this, and then you can type these words, keyopt, comma, mat ID, comma, six, comma, one. So that is the mixed UP element formulation. Unfortunately, when we try to solve with that, it's still not enough to get the model to converge. And there's the other item on the list. The uh, last item is uniform reduced integration. And there's different Kiops for different elements. So it's uh, Kiopt 1, 1 for axisymmetric, uh, which is the model we're looking at, and, but it's Kiop 2 equals 1 for a solid 185. And uh, when that is done, as in this uh, last model here, you will see that we succeed. In fact, we succeed not only in getting down to 9 millimeters, we, get, we succeed in getting all the way down to 12 millimeters here. We could have kept going. Um, it uh, it had some difficulty just before getting to nine millimeters, but it kept going and then went all the way out to 12. So <clears throat> we're now at the point where we need some of those uh, contact definitions created to prevent self intersection, but at, uh, at uh, nine millimeters at the end of time step one, uh, we're not yet um, self intersecting. And um, that is the way to get convergence on a rubber or elastomeric model, thin wall model, with large deflections. So that's the other uh, thing I should have mentioned under analysis settings. Right there is turned on. That is a requirement for any models that are moving large distances like this. So let's review to get uh, structural simulations of elastomers to converge. Here are my five must-do items. Hyperelastic material model, mixed UP element formulation by setting Keopt 6 on the part, uniform reduced integration on the element by either Keopt 2 or 1 for different solid elements, and using four or more elements through the thickness and taking many sub steps. So thanks for watching.